Hello, you blowjobs from a skeleton. Jim Sterling here, and this is Airport Master. If there's one thing I've always wanted to master, it's airports. And this early access work in progress game by Stykeli is exactly the kind of game I'm after. Let's go. New game. Here we are. Whoa! Holy fuck, what a screen! What an overwhelming, alienating screen. Okay. Uh, shit. Okay. Shit's happening already. Quick help screen. You are playing in development alpha builds. Blah, blah, blah. F1 is that... Don't beep at me. F1 is that screen. Is I said don't beep. Switch to airport overview camera. One. Switch to control. T I said don't beep. Home. Switch to airport... I'm not going to get a chance to read this. I've decided I can't read that. The game will keep beeping at me until I click this. FBO, please review and set fuel prices. Administration, please review and set aeronautical fleas. Fight school, please review and set prices for theory. Flight. I didn't say a lot of that correctly. I kind of slurred when I was talking about aeronautical fees and flight school. I think I said fight school, um, which would also be good. Uh, right, where are we? Set prices, how do I do that? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Um, I know, how much do you normally pay? I'll tell you what, because I am a man of the people, I'm actually going to lower these prices. There we go. Done. Administration. Okay. Where do I set? I've got prices here. Landing fee... Movement fee, security fee, you know what, fuck that. L down with security, let people through, keep your shoes on, I don't care. All of this is fine. Low, 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 low. The prices have never been lower. I hate airports, and I hate planes, and I hate airline companies, and how cheap they are. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Fuel, prices have never been lower. Nor have the tanks. Done. See, I can all... I just... ka noises. It's coming in. People are excited. They're excited about making this much money. Okay, what have we got going on? Security cameras. We got control tower, which I can walk around in, but I can't look around in. I can only walk. And it's this. Who are making the typing noises? I don't know. Skip all this. To what end? I don't know what that achieved. Okay, we can walk around here as well. Um, oh, wait, we can look around. I have to press... There we go. If I just hold the right mouse button, I can look around. I should have tried that sooner. Although it... That is alienating. I said alienating again. That's actually not what I meant. I meant disorienting. Because when you just move the mouse a little bit, it sways like you've just pushed, I don't know, like a, like an office dress toy. Whoa! I stopped moving the mouse ages ago. And it's still going. I have to actually actively pull the mouse back to stop it. That's... I'm just uh, showing you the stairs there, not attached to the ground. God, I feel like such an airport master right now. What's going on up here? This is kind of a shitty little airport. Fucking Jackson Airport in Mississippi is better than this. Has free Wi-Fi. The bigger airports don't. They charge. So don't give me any of that. They need to charge for it. Because if a shitty little airport doesn't need to charge... Fucking Atlanta don't. I've actually not tried that. The only place I've ever looked at prices outside of Jackson is Dallas-Fort Worth, which ain't that big. Uh, but, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going on and on about airport Wi-Fi, which none of you really care about. Right, weather. This is all good. This is a lot of words and numbers. And these, these are some really badly designed menus, just from an aesthetic standpoint. I could sit and read all this and learn about what the weather's like today, but I don't want to because the amount of clashing colours and symbols and images just turns my eyes off.
I don't want to be involved in this. Fuck the weather. Okay. It's time to... Sorry, the realities of the economy just mean everything's got to be more expensive. I'm sorry. The cafeteria? I can't do anything about that. Nor can I do anything about the vending machines. Electrical power. We got solar energy. Oh no, coming soon. So... Um, again, I, I'm not interested in this screen. It came with a horrible humming noise and was also just poorly laid out, so not going to bother. Fuel. Things are going to have to... You know what? We'll just go... No, no, we will. No middle sliders. I'll take the Monster Factory approach to this. Let me just move my microphone. Uh, more fuel. No. Look at that. Can't afford it. Where is my money, anyway? That's a good idea to look at. Sorry, I'm just, again, fiddling with the microphone. I just, I don't like where it's placed today. Okay. Do we get to see a plane take off? That'd be nice. Whoa. They really did not bother with this part of the map, did they? Anything that isn't an airport can fuck off. I think that's the attitude the developer of this, what was the developer's name? Sty, Sty or something? Skip, I guess. I just keep pressing skip when it says skip. Presumably that's for a reason. Aircraft requires refueling. <sighs> Done. Alright. Okay. Not heard any ka since I, I... I don't think the Monster Factory approach is actually a good idea. So I'll tell you what, we'll go a, a dollar on this. Oh, wait, no, that is really low. We'll just set things in the middle somewhere. And presumably that'll make money. Oh, yeah, the weather. I don't care about that. And we'll, we'll middle this up. People like a mediocre economy. They don't have to worry about. We got more incomes than expenses... Really cheap expenses as well. Huh. Look at that, we got 110 bucks off the vending machines. The most we spent in one go was 23 bucks on the cafe, so... So we're running a pretty good... A pretty good airport right now. This is it, by the way. If you're expecting anything else, th this is the game. It's... It's just clicking on shit. Let's middle these prices as well. Got all these students here. One of them's flying. Nope, you can't click on them and see them fly. Oh, we can lower the camera. Can we actually walk around? We can move around. So we can go near the planes and hear them make noise. It makes you feel like a giant. Bigger than a plane. I can't really time the, the head bobbing with the laughter so it looks like I'm laughing. Unfortunately, the lag and weird sway that I get off this camera control renders such things impossible. So, oh my god, stop stop it with that. So this really is it. We, we, we're, just, we're just waiting. Holy shit, gets loud once we leave the airport, which, you know, obviously I was going to end up doing. I didn't even know I was going to do this, but now that I've done it, I'm like, of course this was going to happen. I would see how far... Whoa, what's that noise? Cleared VFR for local training, sir. Whoa. Oh, God, they're, they're, I think they're starting to fly. <gasps> What's, I can hear a flying noise. Where, where, where? I'm trying to follow the noise. All right, well, according to my... No. Fuck it, can we... No. Flight tower, this will show us. Where is it? Come on, I just want to see a plane take off. Oh god, I was hoping that would reset it. Where's the airport? We'll run back, see if we can find it. 
We'll fly. Oh, thank fucking auto saved. I'd hate to lose my progress. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Holy shit, that gets loud. Okay. Here we are. Go. You beautiful bastard. Blessed beast of the sky. We're turning this off the moment this flies. It's really boring and I've got things to do. Actually, quite serious. I've got a interesting work to do today. Filming a pilot for what may be a new show. It depends if it goes well. If it's shit, it won't be. But cooking up a couple of projects. Gonna try and make some more uh, sort of ambitious scope projects that aren't this. That aren't me watching a plane take off because it's the most interesting thing happening in the video. You know, we're talking about things that require sets and cameras. And people, one thing people liked about Boglin Watch was that I, you know what, I'm just going to turn the volume right down on my headphones so I don't have to hear this too, too loud. Um, people, one thing people really liked about Boglin Watch is the fact that it's in front of a camera and they, they like that sort of live action on camera stuff so a lot of the projects I'm doing are gonna uh, look at the possibility of doing more of that fingers crossed again that it, it turns out well of course if any of this is shit then I'm not gonna put it up but cooking, cooking up some ideas now that obviously my time and expenses are more free I'm getting excited about the, the, the prospect again of, of having less to worry about and more time to really focus on my work. I mean, you may have noticed, I, I do less gym impressions and green light videos overall these days, and it is interspersed with, with other stuff, be it more random videos or the porn reviews or, or obviously Boglin Watch. Not that I intend to abandon this, Especially, you know, with Steam Direct coming out, there's going to be some interesting opportunities, I think, to see how that service goes. And, of course, Jim Position it itself, something I've been working on improving. Really pleased with the editing job I've been doing on a lot of recent episodes. And, fingers crossed, this, this coming episode will be really, really well produced. Oh, my fucking God. This is awful! It's nowhere near the runway yet! This is all I want to see right now, is this plane take off. It's all I care about in the world. What is the time right now? 7.51am. I gotta have a bath still. I gotta have a bath. I gotta pack. I gotta get lighting equipment packed away. I gotta get my camera. I gotta get sound equipment ready. I'll get dressed. Okay, here we go. Ready for departure. As we are about to witness the only bit of action this game has. I'm quite confident in saying that because, you know me, I'll check out some of the reviews beforehand and that is the complaint everyone has, is that the game literally is what you've seen so far. I'm not misrepresenting that. It's a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting, a lot of sitting and just clicking on stuff and then letting the game, I guess, have fun with itself. Just do its own thing. All right, here we go. Look at this big shit smear all down the runway. Okay. What a tiny plane. I mean, who is that taking? The windows there all muddied out so we can't see who's inside. Here we go. Cleared for takeoff. <gasps> oh wow. I don't know what angle to take this from. Behind? That sounded wrong. But anyway, here we go. Yeah, we'll follow it. Oh wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Human achievement. Aerial freedom, kissing the sky. We shall touch the sun. 
Go, my friend. Fly free. Journey to the new world and bring us back rich silks and elegant spices, the likes of which we've never seen. Discover the potato, friend. Discover it. For me, I can't really focus on you. The game is terrible with its controls. I can just, I'm just about to see it. It's still there. You just see it in the distance. It's still quite loud, even though it's really far away. There it goes. Bye bye plane. Bye bye plane. Alright, this is fucking done. <laughs>